All right, guys, here's my dresser drawer. I got this from Ikea, in case you're wondering. I've already had it for three years, and so far, no problems. But you can already see the drawer I'm going to open it is this one right here. This is like my tank top and t-shirt drawer. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but for me, this is a big time freaking mess. And I'm going to show you how to organize your whole entire drawer so it can look like this to this. So going back to the mess, this may not seem messy to some of you, but to me, this drives me insane because I don't know if you can even tell. I have three different piles here and I have t-shirts right here. This is a Beyonce t-shirt and like my Disneyland t-shirt, all my tees, and then I have my tank tops in the front. I usually just kind of just pile them on top of each other in the front. And then I do have some t-shirts in the front, which shouldn't even be there. I'm going to show you how to utilize your space so that your t-shirts are all the same size. You can see them, you can flip through them so much easier and you create more space in your drawer. And it just is so much easier when you want to pick out a shirt. Cause right now, I'd have to rumble through everything and see what I have underneath here, even underneath here. I have this drawer like this for a reason. I used to have my drawer like this all the time before I discovered this tool in order to help me organize my t-shirt. So I got this last year, so I'm super excited to show you guys this. Now I'm gonna show you how I organize this drawer. Ta-da! And you're probably like, what the heck is this? Got this at the container store, and I know that there are other options, and this is called the flip fold. Also, I'm sure you can DIY this. I thought of all the boxes that I have and I could have like basically made this but I've never seen this before so it's basically just like one flap on the left side another flap on the right you just cut down the center just to the center fold this up and you're good to go that's like such an easy DIY but if you want the convenience factor and something that's gonna last a long time I definitely think this is good because it is plastic so eventually over time I could see cardboard kind of losing its shape maybe ripping not lasting I don't remember the price but I'll link some down below because I'm sure Amazon has some more all right guys so now let's start off with the first t-shirt I'm just gonna take my adidas t-shirt and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you have the front of the t-shirt facing down. You're just gonna bring it to the top right here. I mean, this is all personal preference, but I like the front of the t-shirt to show. So then you're just gonna line up so the collar's right here in the center. The sleeves are gonna go on the side. Just make sure the sleeves are out like this and everything's lined up. Now, since this t-shirt is longer, what they tell you to do is just basically fold it right here. You can fold it. You don't have to, I don't do it all the time. Like for this t-shirt, I usually don't. But you could, you could fold it right there just to make sure that everything really does stay the same exact size. And all you're gonna do is just flip the left, bring it back, flip the right, bring it back, flip to the front, bring it back, and voila, you have a fresh folded t-shirt that's really nice and thin. Instead of taking up that time of folding it, you know how sometimes you fold it kind of funky and they will all stay the same exact shape and size and it's just really convenient like i said you don't have to fold the bottom but that's up to you let's do another one i'm just going to take this pineapple shirt right here the front just put the collar right here on the top make sure the sleeves are out just right here kind of align this so that it's not wrinkled underneath or folded weird right here now even though i do have some space down here like i said i rarely ever like uh, fold this over. I don't know. I just don't really feel the need to so then I just go left I go right I go over and I'm basically done See how it has like a little space though You can just kind of bring it up above and then there you're set See so you have that one nice and thin and then we have our adidas one And then you'll just start doing your whole entire pile now This can also work for tank tops, but obviously you don't have sleeves So I have another pineapple tank top so I just bring it to the top I will end up folding a little just because it is a looser tank top. It's more like a flowing one. And all you do is just go left, go right, back, and that's it. That's all you do. There you go. You have your tank top and it's the same size as the t-shirt. Now this also works for sweaters too. Now you have your sleeves out. So now you're probably wondering like, what do you do with the sleeves? All you do is just fold them in right here, fold them in till they're right there. Fold this one in till it's right there. And then say like this one kind of has a little space. You could always fold this in, but I don't really ever do that. And then same exact thing, left, right. You just push it down, back, 
and voila. And then since I have that space, I just bring it a little bit up and it's set. Tank top that I had from forever. Obviously some t-shirts won't go all the way down. It's kind of, un you know, just kind of unfold it. It doesn't have to be totally perfect, but you definitely don't want it all bunched up. Just left, right. I did that too fast. And then back and boom, it smashes it like nice and thin. Like, look at that. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> So I folded all my clothes. These are all my shirts that I wear to Disneyland because I have a season pass holder. I'm probably gonna do three rows. Now I have all my solids that I wear. I'm gonna put those in the center. Then I ended up folding all my tank tops and I folded them just like the t-shirts except I just folded them in half from right here and they fit perfect like right in the front. So now I can just like go through my tank tops like this. So I'm gonna put these actually in front of these right here because I don't use my Disney shirts all the time. So I'll put them right there so I'm not constantly going through the shirts that I go through a lot. And then my biggest pile are all like the random shirts I wear like my Aloha, my Pineapple, Adidas, Beyonce, some Forever 21 graphic tees and that pile will go right here. Disney, my solids right here and that's it. Look, I have this whole space right here and now I can just flip through my shirts like this and I can see what they are easily. And there you go, here are my solids, super easy, and my Disneyland shirts. And that's it, like look how organized my drawer looks. It looks a little smashed right now, like my solids, but that's okay, still looks good. Obviously this is way more organized than the previous drawer. I hope you guys enjoy this tip. Honestly, you can just always DIY with a piece of cardboard box, but that thing just really lasts a long time. It's really nice and thin, and it's easy to store as well. I'll just close my drawer, and since it's super thin, I can store it right there so it doesn't take up a lot of space. All right, my fine apples, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. I definitely want to bring more content like this because I have a lot more ideas. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one. Whoop, whoop. Here we go, it's all about you. It's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe